hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel today in this quick tutorial i am going to show you how you can create sketch in space claim by using smart dimension in this tutorial i am going to show you how we can create this venture tube and we will start from this sketch and we will use smart dimension to create sketch let's get started for that first we have to go to sketch mode which is in design go into this leg so select this sketch mode and click on this surface now you are in the sketch mode select this line that is all we need for this venture tube so i will select this one and i will create a sketch first uh, i will create a straight line then i will go up i will just create this sketch how this venture tube should look like so it's here 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 and okay this one just little bit extra so i'm going to select from here and till here i have this extra line for that i can use this trim tool and i can trim this extra line here is my rough sketch for venture tube so now we can give them this dimension in sketch if you go here you have this dimension bar or this dimension tool select this dimension and start giving dimension so i know these dimensions you should know the dimension of your geometry so i'm just going to give you dimension and but this is really helpful to make this proper geometry so first of all this one if you click on this line and it will show you what is the dimension of this one i'm going to this one click and now you can change its dimension it should be 2.5 okay for my setting the comma works as a point now this dimension is 2.5 from here till here it should be 2.5 to give dimension first click on this line move your cursor and when you will bring your mouse on this line without clicking you can see the dimension then you click on this line again and now you will get this dimension and uh, this dimension is also 2.5 again for example now i want to give from here till here this angle i want to give as a seven degree let's go click on this line come over here and click on this line yes so when you will move outside it will give you this angle if you move on this side it will give you this angle and then click so that you will get this angle and here i'm going to give this angle as a seven degree now let's change this dimension because all these lengths should fit on this line first i'm giving it a dimension so click over here move down and uh, let's give it a dimension of 200 let's see if it would be enough or not now i want to give this line a dimension so click over here and move your mouse little bit up and i want to give it a dimension of 20. We can change this dimension a little bit but let's see 20 should be fine now click over here and move your cursor over here and give it a dimension of 10 millimeter okay you got this one now i want to give it an angle from here to here at 12 degree click over here then bring your mouse on this line and click on this line you have selected these two lines if you move your mouse over here you will get this angle if you will move your mouse over here you will get this angle click over here and enter your value it's 12 degree we got all these line this line i want to give it a dimension of 10 millimeter click over here move your line and give it a dimension of 10 millimeter now this line i cannot give dimension to this line because in this way then it will be over specified it means it will add all these lines because i have defined this angle this angle has calculated the length of this one this angle has calculated the length of this one i have defined this one and i have defined this one so it will add all those line and subtract from 200 and rest will be this line i can check what is its dimension if i click over here and i will get its dimension you can see the addition of one or more constraint result in a over constraint the model it means 
I cannot change this one or I cannot define this one. It is it has been calculated. If I will do it, the system will be over specified or over constrained. We have got all those dimension and you can change these dimension to change your geometry. Let's try to change this one. So here is 20, here is the 81. Let's try to change this one. If I change, let's make it 40. And you can see it doesn't change this one because uh, all dimensions have already been defined. It means I have to delete one of the dimensions. So let's delete this one. Select this one and uh, press delete button. It has deleted and uh, now it has accepted that 40 millimeter. Now you can change any dimension you like. For example, if I say this angle should be little more, I can make it 15 degree, it will change. Or if I like, I can make it 7 degree. It's up to you. How do you want to change? Now we have got our sketch and now we can go to the 3D mode or our geometry mode or we can go out of the sketch mode. For that, there are different ways. You can click on this over here or you can simply press D on your keyboard. For example, if you bring your mouse over here, you can see. Okay, here you cannot see, but I think D is the shortcut key. If I press D, now I am in the sketch mode or I am out of the sketch mode. Now I am in the geometry mode. I can convert this uh, 2D geometry into the 3D geometry. For that, I need a pull tool. Pull tool has already been selected. I will select my surface and now I want to rotate this surface so that uh, there are different pull options. I need this pull option. So this one is used for the circular pull. I will select this one and then you need to select your axis. You need to select the geometry where you want to rotate. So I need this axis. So now this geometry will rotate around this axis. With the mouse, I can move my mouse and and I will get my geometry. That's how you can use smart uh, dimension and uh, you can create your geometry. And here one thing, this uh, space frame is not meant to be a CAD design here. For example, here you can see it doesn't record the history. So now this uh, sketch has gone as you move away. You can go back, but for that you have to undo. For example, I can select undo and undo and I can go back. Anyway, that's how you can use some R dimension to create sketch and to create your geometry. That's it for today and I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.